Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today's video is part two of our Nano Dimension stock comparison to BioNano Genomic stock. In this three part series, I am breaking down NNDM stock and BNGO stock to tell you which one can make you the most money. You do not have to watch this series in order, but I will link the first part of this series at the end of this video. And today, we are discussing how NNDM stock can explode based upon Nano Dimensions technology in the 3D printing market and in the smart fabrics market. Like this video right now if you own Nano Dimension stock. Comment down below your thoughts on NNDM stock. Subscribe to me for more stock news and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a brokerage where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies easily. Right now, if you make an account with Weeble, they will give you two free stocks, each worth anywhere from $2 to $250. And if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit, you will get two more free stocks, each valued from $8 to $1,600. You are basically guaranteed to make $20 or more if you cash out immediately, or you could luck out and receive up to $3,200. Not to mention that you also have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat. And you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google, Procter & Gamble, or Heinz. To get this deal, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer ends on January 15th. And with that being said, let's get into our first Nano Dimension stock article. In 2019, the 3D printing market, which Nano Dimension is a part of was valued at $11.58 billion with a projected compound annual growth rate of over 14% until 2027. Right now, Nano Dimension stock and 3D printing technology is in high demand regarding the healthcare industry, automotive markets, and the aerospace and defense sector, which is anticipated to drive growth in the upcoming years. The graph below shows us the 3D printing market's growth over time, which looks astounding, but there is a lot of subcategories in this market and they are not all made equal as we will discuss later. Normally when someone refers to 3D printing they are talking about additive manufacturing which is when special material is loaded into a 3D printer and an object is formed layer by layer until a real life three dimensional model is created which originated as an idea on a computer screen. And the reason why nano dimension and 3D printing is so great is because it helps manufacture with prototyping, designing, modeling, and it saves them time. Because of 3D printing companies like Nano Dimension, costs can be lowered, which in turn helps manufacturers produce more and allows them to make products at a cheaper price, while keeping their margins stable or even improving them. And that is one of the main reasons why 3D printing and Nano Dimension stock will undergo major growth in the upcoming years. However, not all 3D printing is the same, and not all 3D printing companies are created equal. For example, there are two major types of printers. The first type is industrial printers, which make up 77% of the market, and it is forecasted to continue to be the dominant type of printer in the future. These printers are normally larger comparatively, and it is made for heavy-duty industries like automotives, electronics, defense, healthcare, and aerospace, which most mostly utilize prototyping and designing as its main functions. The other types of printers are desktop printers, which are normally used in households, colleges, and universities. These printers are frequently used by research institutions specifically, and the adoption of this type of printer is also set to increase over the forecasted period of this study, which ended in 2027. Nano Dimension is mainly categorized as an industrial printer company because they specialize on producing professional multi-layered circuit boards also known as PCBs, using their Dragonfly printers, which allows other companies to produce these electronics in-house. The prototyping segment of 3D printing accounts for the largest market share coming from the industrial printers mainly, which is anticipated to undergo extensive adoption in the future, while on the other hand, the functional part segment of 3D printing produces small hardware connecting components that need precision and accuracy in their prints. We also have to keep in mind regardless of the type. 
size, segment, sector, space, industry, or whether we are talking about hardware, software, or services, the entire 3D printing market is growing at a very healthy rate, which will take stocks like NNDM up with it, thereby giving Nano Dimension a great chance to grow and dominate in their specialization. Not only has Nano Dimension picked the right type and segment, they are also integrating well into the United States, even though they are an Israeli company, because North America has the largest 3D printing market ever, taking 35% of the global market, which is just set to keep expanding. The total global revenue for the 3D printing market in 2027 is projected to be 35.38 billion dollars, with top tier companies like Stratasys, 3D Systems, Autodesk, and soon to be Nano Dimension leading the charge for further innovation. But for Nano Dimension and NNDM stock, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Because of advancements in 3D printing and microelectronics, an emerging market is coming up through smart fabrics, also known as textiles, in the sport and fitness industries, which will also simultaneously impact wearable smart devices. The best part is that Nano Dimension's ability to 3D print nanomaterials and microelectronics has the capacity capacity to resolve the challenges faced by the smart fabric market, which will help many manufacturers create effective products at a low cost. Also, Nano Dimension can make flexible electronic components, which just makes adding it to clothing that much easier. We have already seen some technology like this before with the Fitbit fitness tracker, Nike's fuel band, and even sport watches to a degree. But with Nano Dimension revolutionizing the smart fabric industry, it will change the way these devices can be worn. What if you can wear a shirt that can track your heart rate? or pants that can count your steps. With Nano Dimensions technology, this is easily possible. The United States is a forerunner for the future potential of the smart fabrics industry, where technology can be a part of your clothing. Just think of the broader implications that this could have on other industries. What if hospital gowns can be reading your vitals? What if your clothes could predict a heart attack? Or if they can tell you that you are sick before you even start to show symptoms? This could be huge and Nano Dimension has the potential to enter into this huge market. But how much could this market be worth when it's just starting out? Well, the smart fabrics market was valued at only 878 $0.9 million in 2018, but it is predicted to grow at an annual compound growth rate of 30% until 2025. If Nano Dimension does invade this smart fabric market, they would be well set for the future and their NNDM stock could go parabolic. In general, smart fabrics would just be really cool. Imagine self-heating waterproof clothes is way too good to pass up, but don't expect expect anything like this very soon because this is a developing market along with 3D printing. The market is expected to reach $5.5 billion by 2025, with companies like Nike and Adidas leading the industry. I have here ARK Invest's PRNT ETF, which consists of the major 3D printing stocks with names like 3D Systems, Stratasys, HP, Protolabs, and Autodesk, but Nano Dimension is actually not in this ETF. Instead, the ARK Invest team allocated it over to the ARKQ ETF, which is the Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF which has stocks like Tesla and Workhorse. But if we look closely, we also see Nano Dimension, which is above Protolabs and Stratasys. Now, this does not mean that Nano Dimension is necessarily better than those other stocks, but it does say that ARK thinks that Nano Dimension is an extremely innovative stock. Like the video for NNDM stock, comment your thoughts, subscribe for part 3, and for more Nano Dimension stock news.